Hello everyone. Let's provide to this. Let's provide the solution to this very quickly. 3x plus y equals 6. This is our equation 1. Then x times y equals 6 is our equation. Okay, this is our equation 2. Now, what do we do from here? Remember that from equation 1, I can make y the subject. So y will be equal to 6 minus 3x. And we call this our equation 3. Mind you, we are going to need this equation 3 as time goes on. But now, what we'll do with it is to put this equation 3 into equation 2. And our equation 2 is x, y equals 6. So, I'll write x. Then in place of y, I write 6 minus 3x. Then this is equal to 6. x times 6 is 6x. Six then minus x times 3x, that will give us 3x squared. Then this is equal to 6. But mind you, I can even reduce this equation to a simpler form as I divide all through by 3. Because 3 is common to all of them. So 3 will go there 2 times, so we have 2x. 3 will go there, and we have x squared. Then... 3 will go there, and we have 2. But then, let's rearrange this. The one with the highest power has to come first. So we have negative x squared plus 2x minus 2 equals 0. What I have done is to bring the, the constant to the left, so it became negative. Now, multiply all through by negative, so that the coefficient of x squared will be positive so this will give us x squared here then this will turn to negative 2x this will turn to positive 2 and we equate to 0 now let's continue with this we are going to use the formula method to get the value of this remember this is a quadratic equation and the formula method for solving the quadratic equation goes this way. Our x will be equal to minus b plus or minus, we have square root of b squared minus 4ac and everything is over 2a. Now x here is equal to, by the way, our a is 1, that is the coefficient of x squared. Our b is minus 2 and c is 2 as well so in place of this now we, have, we write minus minus 2 because b itself is minus 2 plus or minus we have um, here we have minus 2 squared then minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 2 so all of this is over 2 times 1 because a is still 1. Now x is equal to 2 because negative negative will give positive. Plus or minus, we have minus 2 squared. That will give us 4. Then minus 4 times 1 times 2 is 8. So the whole of this is over 2. To proceed, we have x equals 2 plus or minus, we have um, square root of negative 4. Uh, this is over 2. Now, this means that our x is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 times square root of negative 1. And this is over 2. This way, we'll be able to express the square root of um, 4, knowing that the negative is out already. Now, let's continue. x is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2. And square root of negative 1 is imaginary, so we write i. The whole of this is over 2. 
But mind you that two can go there and the same two will go there. So we have x to be equal to 1 plus or minus i because 1i is the same thing as i, right? Now this means that x is equal to 1 plus i or we have um, 1 minus i. So from here we have two values of x and these two values of x will give us um, their corresponding value of y. So let's go back to our equation 3. Okay, so our equation 3 is y equals 6 minus 3x. So I will pick the first value of x so that y is equal to 6 minus 3 upon bracket in place of x I write 1 plus i close this so this means we have y to be equal to 6 minus 3 minus 3i three because minus 3 times 1 is minus 3 and minus 3 times i is minus 3i so that y is equal to 6 minus 3 is 3 then minus 3i so what are we saying we are saying that when x is equal to 1 plus i y is equal to 3 minus 3i so we have this then let's go to the second value of x remember y is still 6 minus 3x right and now y will be equal to 6 minus 3 open bracket in place of x i'm going to write 1 minus i and i'll close the bracket now y now should be 6 minus 3 plus 3i because 3 minus 3 times 1 is minus 3 minus 3 times minus i will give us plus 3i so we have y to be equal to 3 plus 3i and this also means that when x is equal to 1 minus i y is equal to 3 plus 3i okay so this is the end of the um solution i mean the solving thank you for watching if you love this subscribe to my channel to get more of um, this educational video thank you god bless